Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today we're gonna work on Pegasus EXT3216 and I'm gonna just emphasize on this that this one has a sub number of A04BA2. You know, you always get this 3216, but you gotta have, you gotta watch the pre numbers and sub numbers and also the spec on it, which is a 435K that's 5x5, 5x5 in 5mm length width and it's a pt device and very 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 special sewing machine from pegasus and overlock five thread for heavy duty sewing now the way you see it this is the way that it's going to a customer customer requested a top uh, tabletop overlock machine so it would be sitting on the table and that's how we did it the whole setup is done by gold star tool look at this table K-Leg, brushless uh, motor. Uh, again, whenever you buy a machine from us, everything is complete. You have an option of uh, assembled or unassembled, but uh, you get table, legs, obviously LED lamp, thread stand, everybody, everything is um, included. Look at this huge. Okay. Book. Um, you get some extra stuff. This is a feed dog. These are some accessories. And just to show you how big the needles are on this machine, size 21, like a walking foot. Look at this here. The whole thing is very, very heavy to the machine. It's a DX27 size 27 and you get some uh, dust covers and all that stuff. And um, I just wanna show you people that wanna do uh, heavy sewing and they just don't wanna do a uh, regular surgery. And we're not talking about home surgery, we're talking about, um, talking about single needle, I mean, overlock machines that are not homemade. It's, industrial, but this is the most industrial sewing machine that you could find. Look at this. Um, threading is five thread. Uh, obviously every thread has its own uh, line and it's all color coded, meaning that a lot of people call me and say, hey, how do we know? First of all, the thing is that when you buy the machine, if the colors are the one that we have here are not your color, color and obviously it's not gonna be your color. Um, you just cut them right here on the top, put your thread down and just pull them through. At one point you might take cut, but you know. Uh, today we're working on a very heavy duty T105 thread. These are the threads that people use on jeans or denim, T105. These are really heavy stuff and uh, voila, uh, foot lift and pedal and turn on the machine. Here we go, we are at 4,000 RPM. Machine comes with quart of oil, open up here, put it in there and you'll see the oil showing up here. Um, this is, again, let me just start showing and then we'll talk about the other stuff, right? All right, look. Whoosh. Let me get rid of this. I have to do this first. And then. What happened? What did you do, David? Did I break something? No. I hope not. I think when I. It is not the machine, it's me. I'm not a sewer. I'm a sewing machine salesman. Let me get it out. This, you gotta be patient with this. Some of this stuff. When I'm gonna, when I close the door, I pretty much pinch some of this fabric and it got stuck. And it's okay, it's all good. You gotta be patient. When you receive this sewing machine, if you have any problem, 
Just try to be patient and everything is gonna be okay. All right, let me cut this. I, I like these things to happen because a lot of time people that buy sewing machine from us, they think that as soon as they buy the machine, everything is gonna work perfect. Yes. Sometimes things get stuck, like right now, you see, and it's very easy to um, on, no, and do what happened right now. Takes a little bit of time, see like right now, the thread got stuck and I got stuck and I started sewing and I screwed everything up. I had to stop, but I didn't, but it's all good, but I wanna, I, I'm not gonna disconnect you guys. I want you guys to sit down and see everything. So make sure that we are good. They cut this out. So see like right now, this thread, if you could see, I wanna pull this thread out. I know it's coming from here. I just go ahead and loosen this and pull this out. Okay, simple. There are sprays that you could use on this machine. Whenever you buy this machine or any machine that you could totally uh, spray, silicone spray, and whenever you use it, it's gonna be very easy. So the reason that this got stuck is because there is a walking foot in the back that walks the machine, walks the fabric. And I pretty much went because when I closed the door, I pinched it, and that's why it got stuck. But I'm gonna, <sighs> look at that. If this would have gotten to an irregular sewing machine, forget about home sewing machine. An industrial sewing machine would have broken all everything, but no. Okay, so we are perfect, look. Everything normal, everything's happening. Now I'm gonna close this, done. And take some of this stuff out. And we're gonna go. So whenever you wanna bring that, this foot back, this one, uh, if you could see this area of it, goes up and this one sits right beneath, beneath it. Like that, and this one sits down, see? Behind that, if you could come here, Lynn. I'm sorry, I want him to see, like this is also a walking, you see that? The extended walking foot that this goes up and brings in the fabric. So, just before we start, I'm gonna show you that what we did before. This is the type of stitching that we have. This is three thread here, and this is what we call a safety stitch. Three threads and this is safety. Safety stitch the fifth thread from the back and the far left needle. So if anybody doesn't want to use the safety stitch in any case, you could just cut the thread and you have these two. Right? Okay, so here we go. Okay, so the needle came out, the foot came out, and this thing got stuck here. It's all good. Again, I know a lot of people call me, and sometimes they complain about uh, loopers. When they use the looper, 
the thread keeps coming out and it's pretty normal. It takes some time to get adjusted to your machine, right? And very, very, very normal. I'm gonna do it right now here while I have you online. And I'm gonna fix this thing. Whatever it is that is going wrong, it's pretty normal that things go wrong. But you gotta be patient. And obviously they didn't give me any tweezers, it's okay. So again, you see color coded. You have green, you have green, you have yellow, 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 red, red, and the one in the back. So you're not gonna miss. The only thing that you're gonna have problem with is that when you are um, not don't knowing where you're going with this. Let me get the tweezers out. Tweezers are very, very important. I don't even know if we have this machine on our website. We're gonna put them on. This is more a spe specialty one, a more expensive one. So a customer requested and we got it. That's, we do a lot of this stuff. Um, if you guys are watching our video and you're looking to buy a Juki machine or a Pegasus or console or whatever it is that you do not find on our website, call me. Uh, or any of our, 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 our associates. This is gonna be a very long video maybe, but it's all good. It's good to... And we're not done, we have another video to do after this. Here we go. We are all good. Done, inside, closed, okay. Oof, this is heavy sewing machine. It is a heavy sewing machine. I think we're good. I just, let me use some brand new fabric. Here you go. Very heavy, 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 heavy canvas. Raise, I would always like to go more in the middle and should I go fast so they see what this machine could do? Front, back. Now you see this back? If you see it has problem, just go in the back and loosen the thread. Now, again, if you see the fabric breaks or something, come right here. You see the side. Adjustment for, don't take my word for it, there's a huge book back there. A stitch right here, minus plus. Okay, uh, this is the fifth thread that coming in. I'm going to this um, looper right here. And there is also, um, Spot right here that you could add some silicone oil. Um, so this is the side where the fifth thread comes in. You gotta make sure how to thread it. This is for adjustment of uh, how wide you want the stitch to be. And I'm gonna do one last time, and I'm pretty much get uh, you know you understand what I'm saying, right? I think, I hope, because sometimes I. Be patient with sewing machines. Be very, very patient. 
Do not get frustrated. You won't get anywhere. Especially cover stitch machines that are chain stitch are the hardest to work with, but don't worry. It's, uh, if you see a, a thread like now, we broke this, see where it is coming beyond, loosen it. You know, and again, we go back. We go back and forth and make sure that everything is okay. Uh, but don't get frustrated. It won't help anything. So this is again a five thread sewing machine made by Pegasus for more heavy duty stuff. It's a walking foot. You see this in the back, a walking foot. This is the side where the fifth thread comes in, a lot of adjustment. You could adjust and tie this, untie it. I'm gonna go ahead and close the Right, and voila, let's go. Great, great machine. I'm going slow now. I want you to see. That's two layers of very, very heavy stuff. I'm gonna do four layers. I just love it. Oh man. Front, back. Look at that beautiful chain stitch. You guys want a heavy duty sewing machine? Cover it, I mean, a five thread. Overlock, this is a EXT series Pegasus machine, and it's unbelievable, really. You wanna show the back, please? It's on a... Uh, brushless motor, table, Kalex, heavy, heavy duty stuff. Very heavy stuff. Um, and I, 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 I wanted to make sure you guys see how thick this is and how thicker this is, this is four layers of really heavy stuff. If you want to do any canvas, outdoor, indoor, you need to surge it and do a safety stitch. This is the machine. The machine could be top, the way you see it, or fully submerged. And fully submerged, I don't have one here to show you, but fully sits inside. So this one would be flat with the tabletop. Another great video, I hope it's another great video. You guys, if you guys are tired, just go get some popcorn because we're going to do another video right now. All right, thank you for watching. This is David from goldstartool.com. And go on our website, goldstartool.com, and let me know which video you want me to make for you. Make sure you go on and see my product. Unbelievable product. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful time.